So here we have a test render and as you can see we've got the rain in there and we've got the splash at her feet. Um, but this gives us a really good idea of how far we've come, what we've achieved and then from here we can take what we've learned and maybe make the droplets a little bit larger or even make them a bit smaller. If we just zoom in down here Again, this is just a basic render, so don't worry too much about what you're looking at here. Um, we can see the droplets forming around here with the light uh, glancing off them. They're even coming up here. One thing we didn't add in was the ability for the uh, Bifrost system to collide with the character up here as well. As we can see, the splash is coming up towards her leg. So ideally we want this not only to collide with the dummy foot that we put in and animated earlier, but maybe also with this part of her leg here. And again, all you need to do is select the, uh, let's just go into the outliner, select the Bifrost liquid, select the character model, and then go to Bifrost, uh, add collider. And that's as simple as that. And obviously because we've cached everything, you'd have to then re go through and recalculate all those and recache them. But again, we've covered all that, so that's quite an easy step uh, to do. Looking at the rain of, as, uh, from a, as another example, if we look at it now, it doesn't look like it's quite a heavy downpour. It's almost like a light shower. So we could go in and add more particles in there, um, increase the particle count, if we want it to be more dramatic, maybe make the tails longer. Um, you know, we can play around with all those values now to get the look that we want. And again, if you were just any values on the rain or on the Bifrost uh, splash, remember that this is cached, so you will need to recache it before you see any updates. Um, the best thing to do is detach the cache or delete the cache, um, tweak them until you're happy, and then reapply the cache and then come back in and render. So I think we're pretty much at the end of this tutorial now. We've covered adding rain into the scene, making the rain collide with the floor and the cap character, and also as the rain collides it explodes uh, into more uh, droplets, um, which were more other particles. We've also looked at setting up a basic Bifrost uh, puddle uh, and allowing the character to interact with it, to create the splash, and then we've looked at playing around with uh, some settings to get the look of the splash that we're after. Um, and don't forget, when you're adjusting the droplets, if you want the droplets smaller or larger, remember to adjust the surface radius for the meshing, just to tighten those uh, droplets, or make them bigger and looser with a bigger value. Um, and also, on the liquid container, adjusting the droplet threshold to give you lot more droplets or less droplets, um, and also the droplet merge back depth, just so that when the droplets are nearer a larger body of water, they merge together or they stay separate. So there's lots of those that you can now play around with um, in this scene, uh, but basically it's yours now to tweak and adjust and um, have fun with. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is the end of this uh, tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you've learned a lot from it. Um, and I'll see you next time.